What's going on guys, it's me Semi Mong and I am back with a boss battle from Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped, okay, so this is the second boss battle, if you haven't already, go check out a our first look or just first thoughts on the game, we played Crash Bandicoot 3, this one, Warped, but we played the first boss battle with Tiny, this is the second guy, he's called Dingo Dial, and he can get kind of annoying, so you can see he's got some barriers around him, okay? These will drop at the start of the game, and his first move will just be an absolute barrage of fire. Now, if you're an idiot like me, you'll try and run into it and dodge it, and you may, you may see a couple of times me just getting absolutely wrecked, but he only does that once, so if you can dodge that, you're fine. Because all he does from there is try and line you up and then shoot, and all you really have to do is slide, go left to right, don't do what I do and actually run towards him when he's aiming down his gun like, don't be that stupid, okay? Don't don't be a mong like me. All you got to do is dodge his first bit so you can see where he was shooting there. I was like, no, I'm not running towards it. I'm going to go the opposite way. Just go in the opposite direction. If he's going clockwise, go counterclockwise. If he's going counterclockwise... Go clockwise, don't jump towards it, okay, it doesn't work, I promise you. But once you've done that, you've just got to dodge this until you've made a mad opening. And once he's made a mad opening, your best shot, your best shot, your best shout is to wait until he's aiming up, and as he's firing, go and hit him. Like, you can see, it is really smooth, really easy, you're only really going to mess it up if you wait too long after he's aimed. Now, you can see he's actually shot past me there, I was too slow, so his barrage actually caught up. So what you want to try and do is be on the opposite side of the circle, wherever he's shooting. Now you can dodge it, you can go through it, but you saw how close I was to death then. That was millimetres, like literal millimetres off. And I was on this boss battle for a good 15, 20 minutes. Like honestly, it was so early, my brain, my poor, poor brain couldn't handle it. But I started to get the hang of it. Like it was, it was pretty... Self-explanatory sooner or later, so we're on to the second barriers, okay? I'm thinking, alright, what's he gonna do? He starts firing down his barrage from the opposite side. I start running towards it as I do, and then start running away, like, no! Bam! Tried to dodge it, I'm pretty sure it hit me. Like, you saw it in the footage just then, like, that fireball hit me. I don't know if it's because I was sliding, or it's because I was, like, crouched during a jump animation. I survived, blessed BD, I survived the hit, and now you just gotta do the old 1-2, you can see that sometimes he doesn't aim, like just then, like his gun was going back and forth with my character animation, your best bet is to just stop for a second, like I did then, and then once he, you stop, he would obviously, he will just automatically aim at you, and then just go left or right, dodge it, go in for the quick attack, it's pretty, pretty easy once you get to it, but I can tell you, if, if you don't concentrate it can get annoying like I was, I've been blabbering on about this barrage of fire the whole time I finally get him down to one health and what kills me is that barrage of fire like I was not concentrating it's one of those games where you've just got to be on it just for five minutes straight you've just got to not let your guard down so I get back to it okay he's aiming at me he's getting down his barriers now what I try and do is get it so there's one half open as I said a bigger area you're gonna have a better chance of actually shooting him because if you get caught up in those barriers and you do hit him and then you get hit by his explosion you're just gonna die anyway so what's the point I mean it's pretty hard to get caught in the barriers I, I kind of got clipped by one there but the only reason you'd get caught in a barrier is if you've literally gone for him after like one shot. Like you see an opening, you go for it and bam, you're caught. But guys, this is Dingo Dial. If you'd like to see any other levels of Crash 3 or any of the other Crash games in particular, be sure to leave a comment down below. I am going to try and get all of the boss battles in their own separate video. And then just do like a... A fairly 15 minute longish video of all of the levels from that segment in one go because obviously there's five levels at a segment you can see how unforgiving this game is there's no retries okay no nothing you can see the fire barrage messed me up there once again I just I don't know I try to jump through it every time I think after twice of dodging it I just thought I was in, in, invulnerable like my, my karma just had it out for me and I could get past it but clearly not like I do end up killing him and getting past the boss fight but it takes a while got another minute I think I actually die a couple of times before I even finish it let's have a look but guys I just I don't know what to say like 
Uh, this game is it is actually so good, and for how much it is for all three, the only thing I would like them to do now, because it's not actually Naughty Dog publishing it or remastering it, it's Vicarious... Vicarious? Is it Vicarious? Vicarious Studio? Oh, I have no idea. I can't even remember. It says it at the start of the game. I've seen that startup screen so many times already. But what I want them to do is remaster Crash Team Racing and add it as DLC to this. And then it would literally be the ultimate Crash package. Like the ultimate bundle for old school Crash Bandicoot fans. But this is it, guys. I think this is actually the glory run where I managed to finish off Dingo Dial. It does sound a bit weird, doesn't it? Dingo Dial almost got caught in the crystals, okay? Heed the words of Mong. Don't get caught in the crystals. But once again, if you'd like to see more, be sure to smash that like button down below. Comment what you'd like to see more of. And yeah, thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.